Okay, question number seven from here. This is from June 2010. Okay, so I will be marking this area. Okay, now first part. There is no part where you have to write the equation. So no problem. So now let's split this. I can use this area. Uh, this is going to be dx over cos square x. And that is dt over e raised to power 2t. Okay. So I will make this rather because I know that 1 over cos square x is secant square x. And we can integrate it. And I will write it as e raised to power minus 2t d, dt. So now this is just going to be the easiest kind of uh, integration here. So this becomes uh, tan x. This is your tan x. That is e raised to power minus 2t over minus 2 and then plus c. We have been given these values here, t is 0, x 0. Let's put that. Tan 0 is 0. And e raised for 0 is 1. This is 1. This is 1 over minus 2 plus c. So c is going to be equal to half. So finally, this equation is going to be, uh, now this is going to be tan x that is equal to minus 1 over 2 e raised for 2 t and then plus half. Now we need x in terms of t. So when we need x in terms of t, so then let me just write it as tan x that is half into 1 minus uh, e raised to power minus 2t. And this x is going to be the inverse of this tan half into 1 minus e raised to power minus 2. That is the answer to the first part. Okay, for the second part, uh, you have to remember that um, if you have um, e raised to power x, the sketch is like this. Like suppose this is e raised to power 2t. So when time is going to go to infinity, so this is, let's this is y is equal to e raised to power 2t. So y is also going to the infinity, okay? But if it is e raised to power minus 2t, it is like this. Okay, it is going to be like this. So uh, when your t is going to be very large, like this, this is like this. So then your y is going to be zero. So this means that if 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 t is going to the infinity, so this will become x equal to tan inverse of half into 1 minus c. So that means this will be tan inverse of half. So when t approaches infinity, x will approach to tan inverse of half. The third part. Okay. Let me do uh, this. It is this. And we have this box with the black color here again. Okay, we have to answer that y x increases as t increases. So we have basically here uh, x is equal to tan inverse of half minus 1 over 2 e raised to power minus 2 t. We have something like this, okay? So, uh, for example, if you have uh, tan x 
that is equal to one. So X is an inverse of one. That is X is gonna be pi by four. So X is that angle at which the value is going to go to one, okay? So it says Y X increases as T increases. When your T is going to go from uh, zero to infinity, okay? When it goes from zero to infinity. Now what is the value, if I, if I put here um, zero over here, the time zero, when I put time as zero over here, so this uh, half minus, this becomes half minus half because this is going to be zero over here, okay? So what is tan inverse of zero? That is going to be zero, okay? So this X is going to be equal to zero. And what if when you put this T to be infinity, so what was your X? That was tan inverse of R. So you have seen that X increasing when your time is increasing from zero to infinity. There can be many other reasons for this as well.